Hey, I'm Brian Vance, SportBikeTracker.com. Today we're going to give you a sneak peek. It's not all done, but we've made a lot of progress of our brand new race trailer. Okay, so the old trailer had seen better days. It was time to move it on down the road. We snowmobile in the winter and we do the bikes, of course, in the spring and summer months. So I needed a trailer that could do double duty. So what I did is I ended up going with a 28 foot, eight and a half foot wide, all aluminum legend trailer. This is technically a sled trailer. One of the first things that I did to it is I had the wood floor Linexed. That is a bed lining. I used it on the aluminum trailer that I had previous to this and this stuff lasts, it's like iron on the floor. It's fantastic. I also had the underbody of the trailer undercoated. Plan on keeping this for a long time. Spent a fair spot of money on it, right? And we put a lot of miles. We're going to Texas right now, Dakota. We're going to be to the Ridge this year, to Laguna. We did a couple of sled trips to the UP this winter. So the vans use their trailer quite a bit. And I wanted to try and get this thing set up a little better than the previous one that we had. The previous one, we did more throwing shit in there than we really did laying it out nicely. And with all that we're doing this year, we spent a few weekends on setting this up. So what are some of the things that we did? Obviously, pit bull trailer restraints. I've got this trailer set up to hold a total of six bikes. You know, for the Moto America stuff, it's simple, you know, and we do have another scooter. It's just not ready to go, so it's not in here. Here's Max's destroyed Grom. Remember, it's one bike rule, so we've got our race bike over there. I've got a, a spare frame and front end ready to go. The very front of the trailer, I mounted E-Track on that fold-down door that we obviously won't be folding down. I secure the canopies and fuel there. I've got two toolboxes, E-Track there on the wall. It's mounted to the wall there. That cabinet came with the trailer. And we're all loaded up now heading for Coda. This is the first time I've loaded this. This is kind of a cool little workstation thing. Black bore, whatever. I'm not gonna lie to you. I ordered this shit off Amazon. Holds all kinds of spray cans, a little work top. Holds two full rolls of paper towel, right? Pretty cool. Spare tire holder. You're able to kind of Tetris a bunch of other shit in here. I don't know if you can see this or not over here, Caleb, but I went out and bought an aluminum jack and an aluminum jack box. You pull the handle off, drop the jack in there. You get a flat tire or something on the trailer, right? Or even if you're changing a motor on the bike, it's nice to have that so we have it in here. These turned out really cool. These are two Pit Posse helmet shelves, okay? Able to hold a total of four helmets, these little shelves under here, great place to put gloves and stuff like that. We have a gear bag, those are in right now. Underneath that, there are four pit bull hangers for race suits. So this is able to hold four suits and four helmets right here in this area. I think this turned out really nice, super happy with that. We got an eight foot long tire rack. You know, you go down somewhere like we're going to Coda where he's going to, you know, basically be on new tires every session. A lot of those tires are going to be good enough for him to do some track time on after. Some, if he stays out for, you know, if you ride for 45 minutes or whatever, they're done when he comes in. So we'll bring home what makes sense to bring home. It's a great place to put the spare wheels. This is also thinking forward for the day when Dad gets to ride again and I get to put my almighty Jixer in here. I can put my tires and stuff up there too because it's typically the two of us going or maybe Jimmy's going to come, you know, or somebody else, my buddy Babel. Lots of room. I added some cameras to this too. General Motors has these accessory cameras that plug into my new 2021 uh, 35, I bought a one-ton truck, AT4 Duramax diesel. Max and I took all the interior trim off the left side in here. We ran that camera and at the very back of the trailer, uh, on the outside, I have a camera that faces backwards. So you're able to see behind you, not only when you're backing up, but also when you're going down the freeway and it has this little algorithm in the truck where it uses the other cameras, this invisible trailer. I got my warehouse managers outside trying to pretend he's Tony Hawk right now. If you hear all the skateboard flipping, that is Jake out there. 
What else do we do, dude? Um, it also fits a seven foot tall man. Caleb is almost yeah, seven Caleb's foot tall. Yeah, Caleb's seven feet tall almost. So, he was in here. Yeah, his hair is touching, you know, the thing the whole time, so. I got these little E-Track uh, style floor mounts for the generator here on this side. Trying to balance this load out, you know, it looks kind of weird. I think up oh, there's the maiden voyage with bikes, right? I, I left this open because there's so much weight with those toolboxes up there. It's not sagging the truck because it's a 3500 series. So, you know, we're going to drive tomorrow and I've got that camera and we'll be able to kind of keep an eye on the load and see how everything's going. Maybe we'll shuffle that around. It's hard to say. You know, my hopes are that we can keep it like this. I like the toolboxes up at the front and with the one ton, technically you should be able to do that. So there you have it. If you want to come outside and just kind of give them just a look at the exterior of it right just an all aluminum black trailer we got to get some graphics and stuff on it white truck coat abound we'll do some more work on the trailer i got some more e-track and stuff i wanted to get it loaded and take one trip first and see how everything fit we've got flooring that we'll use for events where there's no garages got to find a way to store that in there so i thought Let's do one trip, see how that goes. Oh, and I forgot the pit bull stand hangers. See how that goes and we'll come back. We'll kind of refine that a little bit. It's the first time I've used these. These are the pit bull stand hangers. They want you to use the two right eyelets and kind of string it across. I, I like the centrally located better, right? It made more sense because the studs for the wall you know, it's all centrally located. I went that route. We've got some pads at home that we're going to put down that are going to go behind the wheels, you know, just so it doesn't jack up the walls because that's, you know, it's going to move around a little bit. So you can hold the stands up off the floor. It really opens it up quite a bit. And also what you can do with these is once you get to your destination and you've got the stands off the wall, what I found is, and they do make separate holders for the trailer restraints. I have some of those and I didn't put them on. And the reason I didn't put them on is, what I found is, you're able to hang a trailer restraint on the stand holders temporarily. I wouldn't drive around like that, right? But when you're just at the track, instead of having shit lay all over the floor, you know, today, like for this trip, we've got three restraints. You can take those restraints off, just hang them up there. And they're nice and out of the way. So it's kind of a, kind of a dual purpose thing. Something I do think I'm gonna add over in this area. I had bought some gas can holders that are aluminum like this and they were meant to mount to the floor. I returned them because I didn't use them because I really, I just couldn't find a good spot with the way I had laid this out to put those in there. So I ixnade the gas can holders. And as we're loading up the trailer today, we really didn't have a great place for boots. So what I do think I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna get one of those gas can holders and probably somewhere right over in, I'm thinking, this area. I don't know how wide, at least one. So you can get a few pair of boots in there and that'd be a great place for those to sit. You know, the gloves technically, if you didn't want to bring a gear bag, you could put the gloves on the little shelf there that's just underneath the helmet, but it really gets stuff up off the floor. Super happy with how this turned out so far and excited to see how the trip goes. Got any questions? Leave those in the comments section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself.